most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Here we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about why your shoulder blades are causing your shoulder pain. Honestly, I believe that one of the most common reasons for shoulder pain is that something is out of place. If your shoulder blade is out of place, what I mean by that, if it's winging or it's depressed a bit, you know, it's not up and tight against the, the uh, yeah. Should we show it line? on Sam? Sure. Because some of these terms, if you're not a therapist, it may not make sense to you, but the shoulder blade actually slides across the rib cage. Yeah. And if it doesn't track properly, the mechanics are wrong, it throws off the, the shoulder joint itself. So winging means the blade is winging out like this. Yeah, just like an angel wing. Yeah. So. And it can also be depressed. You know, like uh, down like this, right? Or it can be down like this, right? And uh, quite often, that's what we see with poor posture, especially if we have a rounded out posture in the upper back here, right. which is very, very common yep. in, in the lower neck there. So, as soon as this is out of place, it throws off the whole mechanics of the shoulder, right? And the, you can it can lead to impingement, which. Brad, do you want to show that where that is on here? Sure, I got my handy dandy pen. So right here, this this we uh, highlighted the tendon of the super, supraspinatus yep, with pink or whatever color this is, and the impingement is right there when you go up. If the mechanics aren't right, yeah, it can you imagine if the there. shoulder blades rotated down like this? It's just going to pinch easier, a lot easier right. than. And we'll show a test that kind of demonstrates sure. that a, a little bit later here, but it. The shoulder blade, you got to think of it as the foundation of the shoulder. Right. All four rotator cuff muscles start in the shoulder blade, and then they attach to the humerus here. Right. So you can see them all right here. You see the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis, and teres minor. So they're Good all, job, Bob. Yeah, yeah. So they're all starting here, and they all attach to the shoulder. So if this is off, your foundation is made of sand, right? right? Instead yeah, of sand. yeah, yeah, things are gonna fall apart. I find it interesting that the whole shoulder blade, with the exception of the clavicle, has no connection to the rib cage except through muscle. Right. There, there's a whole series of muscles uh, across your back. You got the, sh should we quickly go through that? The, the traps, sure. the upper, middle, lower, we got the rhomboids. rhomboids. I can't yeah. even remember off the top of my head quickly. I, right. should, I should know this better. But they all, I mean, yeah, th there's no way this is attaching through ligaments or anything. It's uh, all attaching through muscles. Muscles. So if muscles get weak or stretched, that shoulder blade becomes, it can go in the wrong position and cause problems throughout. So to summarize, basically, you got to get good posture and you got to get that shoulder blade in place. There could be some bony deformities on the shoulder blade too mm -hmm. that could be causing problems and and uh according to dr kirsch you maybe can correct that with hanging right but we'll we'll talk that about that in another video yep so right now how do you know if your shoulder blades out of out of whack and a lot of times you can just visually see it because sure. it's, it's winging way out but we're just going to show you three quick tests yep. that, that kind of give you an idea one is the standing slump so we're going to indicate to you we're going to show you the difference between why posture makes a difference. So if you stand slumped like this, I'm going to go ahead and bring this arm up as high as I can go. That's as high as I can reach. I'm, I'm now pinching in yep. there. You can feel it. It's at the end of the range. Right. Now I'm going to straighten up. Good posture. And look at this. I can touch the ceiling. Sure. So, And it's all it has to do with that. That shoulder that blade. That scapula being in the right position, and then the joint works properly. And this is why it's a problem. So let's say I'm down like this, and day after day I'm pinching that tendon that Brad had showed you, right. that, that supraspinatus. After a while, it's going to start fraying like mm -hmm. a rope. Yep. And there's also a bursa in there. So you can get tendonitis, you can get bursitis, you can start getting a rotator cuff tear. Right, right. And eventually it can tear, and then you're going to have pain and weakness and all sorts of problems. So the, These are those shoulder pain things that say, I didn't do anything to my shoulder. I didn't fall. I didn't bump it. It's just been slowly, gradually getting worse over a period of months. Can right. Be, it could be just from you're, poor posture. And you're wondering, why did this start? And it may be because of poor posture. Yep. Brad, do you want to show the poor posture in the seated position? Sure. So it's the same thing. 
if you're working at a computer and you're slumped forward, uh, yeah. head forward, shoulders forward. He may actually be getting a little bit of impinging, impingement just from having his arms up that right. high. Especially if you're reaching over for things and then right. it, it can cause problems. So you want to get those shoulders but back. But show, show how high you can reach up. Okay, up, so yeah. if I'm here, I can get up to here, and it's not comfortable. I can feel it's, it's yep. not right. Here, you know, everything is much easier and obviously reaching much higher. And Brad so, has tight shoulders, too. Yeah, so. m inherently, uh, my shoulders have been tight ever since since I was born, Bob. Sure, we can, we'll blame it on that. <laughs> uh, you actually have tight hips, though, too. I mean, you, you, have, you have good external rotation, but you have poor internal rotation. Yeah, I, I have a number of inherent you problems. You got problems. <laughs> so the last one is a real simple test. I want you to stand st st you know, straight up as you normally do, and I want you to look at your hands, and I want you to look at the palms. Now, if your palms are facing you, you're doing pretty decent. Mm -hmm. But if they're facing backwards, like this is what happens when you have shoulders that are starting to rotate inward, and that's from, you know, your, your pecs getting tight and everything turned in, your uh, latissimus dorsi could be pulling on that sure. too. Um, that means your palms are fa uh, facing backwards. You, that means you need to stretch these right. out, stretch these muscles, and strengthen these muscles. Right, which we've got some good exercise, so again, easy exercise. See right forward. here, palms facing back, yep. shoulders rotated forward. I straighten up. All the palms are facing me like they should be. You so got that, Tanner? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Another indicator, and that's all shoulder, a lot of the shoulder blade. Yep. If, if it's, yep. when I'm like this now, the shoulder blades are moved forward and, and out of place. So we're going to show you some exercises to correct those. But we felt like we should take a whole video just to convince you that this is really important because this is, for many people, this may be the single cause of their shoulder pain. Right, so exactly. We, we straighten this out and, and the pain goes away. So what you can do is just go to our... Oh, yeah, go to our web. website, bobandbrad.com, go to the program section. This, this video is part of a whole series of videos on shoulder pain. Just on shoulder, how to assess exercise. So then you'll go to an exercise video to correct this. Yeah, and below the video, we have a PDF that you can click on. Mm -hmm. You can print it out so you don't have to watch these again. You can just print them out and carry them with you and, you know, do the exercises as you see fit. Check them off, do a little doodling on them if you'd like to. They don't have to look at our mugs. They're much better off. Well, they might have some pictures of us, but um, or... <laughs> Bob and Brad crew, that's just as bad. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, Mike says. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching.